Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, SolarDave.com, asking John Shaw of Bella Energy, are microinverters ready for prime time? So I do think they're ready for prime time. This isn't the first foray at it. There's been um, there have been companies that tried to bring uh, um, microinverters to market in the past. There's also been companies that have tried to bring AC panels to market in the past. AC panel is essentially just a, a DC panel with an inverter mounted right on it. <laughs> so, you know, it's not technically an AC panel. All solar electric panels are going to produce direct current. But regardless, with, with, a, um, with a, uh, a microinverter mounted right on the panel, they call it an AC panel. So the point is, is um, this isn't the first time around. Um, the big player right now is Enphase Energy. Um, their engineers, I, long story short, I think they've done it right. I think they got all their ducks in a row. I think they, they cherry picked the, prop, the, the brightest engineers. I think they had plenty of um, investment funding to you know, properly develop and research and independently test their product. And I think it's very ready for prime time. Um, they're in a great and unique position right now in that uh, you know, they had a rollout plan that, that really has been successful. And so they're the, the, they're the ones to beat, so to speak. And because of that, they are commanding um, you know, a premium price for their product. But there are um, at least two other microinverter companies that have announced product offerings in this country, at least two others. Um, and so they're going to start getting some competition. Whether or not those companies' products are going to be good or as good, is, you know, we'll have to see. Um, perhaps some th third-party testing can help us figure that out. I mean, obviously, on, a, on an inverter that has a 20-year warranty, it's really tough to have it perform for 20 years before you roll it out. You know? yeah. So they have to do you know, assimilated time, mean time between failure testing, third-party, you know, independently verified type stuff. And you know, Enphase Energy says that the mean time between failure of their, new, their second version of, of inverters, which are the... Um, M190 and M210, uh, they say that the mean time between failure is something ridiculous, like 300 years or something. Okay. Yeah. The first version, it was like 100 and something years. Now, you know, when, when their guys came and spoke to us, my first question is, then why is your warranty only 15 years? You know? And you know, then the spin master kind of talk comes in. And maybe at some point, when they're a little bit more sure with their product, they will change the, um, the warranty to 20 years. I'd like to see it 20 years, because that's like the contract with Excel, for example. Competitors come into the market. They're, they're going to have three choices. Distinguish themselves just purely on value and keep their price high, or add value by, for example, dropping price or increasing warranty. A couple other reasons I think they're ready for prime time. Uh, I mean, the, the, the attractiveness of them is in the fact, well, in many facts. Number one, uh, they are more efficient, plain and simple, straight, straight up. I mean, the central inverters uh, are 91 to 93% efficient. Okay. And Enphase microinverters are typically 94 to 96% efficient. Okay. Okay? The other reason these inverters are awesome and help achieve even better than 6% increases is uh, that they eliminate the problem of panel mismatch. Yes. Okay, so and, yeah. exactly. Randomly, let's just say randomly, you got a, you know, a sharp 175 panel, you have 10 in a series. Those panels come off the factory floor with a plus or minus 5% rating. Okay, if you have nine panels operating at plus 5%, or I should say able to be operating at 5%, uh, plus 5%, but one of those panels in that string of 10 is operating at minus 5%, then the way that the central inverters handle that is to basically scale down the voltage of the nine panels that want to do better down to the pace of the slowest hiker. So even though nine of your panels are willing to be producing at 182.5, because one panel is producing at 170, those other nine are essentially going to be producing at 170. Which makes it great if you're going to add on later on, if you want to add on to your system. In phase. Yeah. yeah we, absolutely. That, that's another. And, and I think a lot of people are like, well, give me a 4K system now, but when I get the electric car, I want to bump it up to a 6K system. Yeah, and, and, and then you don't have to worry about restringing yeah. and get a, or get a second central inverter or anything. Um, but, but specifically to mismatch, 
if you have the in-phase inverters on each of those panels, then those nine panels that are willing to produce it at 182.5 are going to produce at 182.5, or the appropriate wattage for the time of day and season, et cetera, et cetera. And then that one that comes with the minus 5%, which is you know standard written warranty accepted kind of norm, it'll perform at that, but the other ones are happy to go on performing as, you know, as they can. So in this scenario, 90% of your system is now able to produce at 5% better yeah. uh, as opposed to 10% worse. Because before, that 175 that's performing at 170 is dragging down those other ones that could do 182 down to 170. I mean, I'm, I'm throwing out 10%. And so overall, your array, or at least your string, is able to produce more kilowatt hours per square foot per watt um, than if you used a central inverter. So not only is the inverter more efficient, but it allows your array, your specific system, to, to, to perform even better. And so we're seeing 10 to 12 percent, wow. not in every case, but we're, we're, we're seeing up to 10 to 12 percent better production from like systems using Enphase. Wow. What, the last thing is shading. If you have any shading, let's say that your shading is OK to pass the Excel litmus test, right. but is present at the corners or you know at 8.30 in the morning or whatever. Okay. If you have any shading, Enphase is the way to go. Oh, yeah. And it, and it has to do with the strings. And you know, if one panel's getting shaded, fine. The other nine or ten or a hundred or whatever are doing just fine. Yeah. So all in all, um, microinverters, and you know, I keep seeing end phase because that's all we're using right now, at least. Um, microinverters, I think, are here to stay. Uh, and and actually, I think you're going to hear from end phase and or a partner of theirs in the panel industry that AC, big, big name AC panels are going to be rolled out pretty soon.